Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you the main differences between gouache and watercolor. So I've picked out four main differences. There's more than this, but these are the ones that stand out to me. And you can decide if maybe this is something you want to try to use. So I'm using Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. I'm just using five colors. I've put them on my plate. I'm just using red, yellow, blue, black, and white, since I can make most colors, almost all colors with those ones. The first main difference that I, at least I pick out, is that gouache is more opaque. It covers the background much more than watercolor does. So it's harder to see some of your lines underneath. If you use pencil for your sketches, gouache is going to be able to cover it up much better than watercolor can. The second difference is that gouache dries much faster than watercolor. So at least for me, it's easier to get these light to dark tones because it doesn't keep mixing and blending. So these, I put, I put a lot of color here and added white as I went to the bottom in both of these squares. But in the gouache, my dark colors stayed on this side more than in my watercolor because they had time to kind of bleed down here. Sometimes you want more time and that's when watercolor is good, but sometimes you don't. That's when I like gouache. Now this is the top, at least for me, reason to use gouache. And it's because you can layer from light to dark. Even if I wanted to um, have like a highlight on the bottom of this, I can paint this lighter color right over this area and mask it in, which you cannot do that with watercolor. So this is much more like painting with acrylics, at least for me, to be able to layer like this and even mask things out. Like let's say I don't like that design. I can come back in and paint over it with my lighter color and just completely cover it up. That is not possible with watercolor. So with gouache, you don't have to paint from light to dark. You can layer lighter colors over dark colors. With watercolor, you can kind of try to scrub it away with a light brush, like I can do this, but it's gonna affect my paper, see? It's starting to lift up some of my paper. So I really can't do that as well. And I can try to blot it out, but that's usually going to affect my paper a lot. So with watercolors, you can't paint lighter colors over the darker colors. This is a great example of the last difference that I've chosen for today between wash and watercolor. This one is still drying. <laughs> That's not the main difference. But the main difference is that gouache dries matte, so it dries flat. It's not shiny or glossy. Watercolor isn't shiny necessarily, but it definitely has more of a sheen than the gouache. So gouache is very flat, almost chalky and watercolor is a little bit more translucent and light fast, so the light kind of goes through it and bounces back, whereas with the gouache, it just kind of stays there and it's flat. So you can see a pretty big difference between these two. So let's see them all together. Gouache is more opaque than watercolor. Gouache dries faster than watercolor. You can layer gouache with light colors on dark colors, so you don't have to paint light to dark, and it dries very matte, not shiny or translucent. And those are the top four differences. So now what I recommend is go try to paint something using gouache and see how it works. This is a great medium to use for illustrators. It dries so quickly and because you can layer it, it's much easier to work with than watercolor. Thank you so much for joining me on Mr. Otter Studio. I would love to see what you've painted using gouache. Post it to Instagram using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio gouache. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.